The Cancer Genome Atlas, or TCGA as we refer to it uh, in shorthand, is an effort to characterize the changes uh, that take place in cancer. Cancer is one of the few diseases where the DNA in, your, in the cells actually changes. Most other diseases, that's not the case. Our group is, is led by Dr. Ilya Shmulevich here at the ISB and we work uh, on uh, extracting, uh, working with these large data sets and doing using systems biology approaches to, to find uh, what might be the important clinical correlates. Recently uh, there's been, there was a publication in Nature that we, were, uh, that we took part in uh, specifically on colon cancer, which is one of the 20 cancers that, that uh, are being looked at by the TCGA. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of uh, cancer deaths in the U.S. It's a uh, cancer that affects millions of people worldwide, uh, both men and women. Um, there are treatments uh, available for colon cancer, um, but we're still trying to understand a lot about the disease and how to treat it. Um, one thing that is known is that um, uh, cancer deaths could be reduced a great deal by screening um, earlier um, uh, and, and more comprehensively than is done now. One of the things that we were interested in was to look at all the molecular changes that take place in colon cancer. So those can be either changes in the genetic material or which genes are turned on and off, so to speak. And we wanted to find which of those um, might be associated with aggressive colorectal cancer. So the Colorectal Cancer Aggressiveness Explorer is a tool that runs through uh, a web browser. Anybody can use it without installing software. Um, and what it does is that it allows researchers to explore the results of our analysis uh, in an interactive way. Um, people can either look at genes that, that they're interested in already or they can simply explore, explore the data. We were looking at these changes uh, kind of one by one, and it was only when we integrated them in this particular visual view that we could see that there was a relation there that we wouldn't necessarily have thought of ahead of time. So one of the things that, that we observed once we had the visualization tool available was that the changes that were associated with aggressive colorectal cancer were not distributed just anywhere on the genome. They really appeared to be in certain regions or hotspots. We're very excited uh, about this work because um, we're able to begin with a large number of, of possible molecules and find those that might uh, be the ones that cause the cancer to be aggressive and might eventually lead us to understand how it works and to lead to better treatment for the disease.